All right guys, in this video I'm going to talk about some really exciting things, some really exciting things that I've done in Lucid Dreams, which are just so so mind-blowing that I just had to share them with you guys, because this is stuff that is far beyond the scope of Lucid Dream that most of us are used to. So most of us will Lucid Dream, or you know, hopefully Lucid Dream, and do things like having sex, or flying, or exploring their city, or punching their boss, or whatever it is, you know, people will do the things that they think they want to do. Right, based on our desire, instant gratification, that sort of thing, and based on what our society tells us we want. You know, you might dream about having lots of money or about living in a big house, but I like to push beyond those things. I like to try and do things that are so unimaginable in waking life that they could only be experienced in a lucid dream. The first one of these that I've, the first sort of experiment I've tried, is where I've tried to, I've tried to visualise time in a non-linear way. So most of us experience, well. All of us <laughs> experience time in a linear fashion, meaning we know that there is a past, history, there is the present, which is what we experience now, and there is a future, you know, or a potential future based on what we do in the present. There is another idea, which is whatever we do in the present will affect the future in, um, you know, millions of different ways, an infinite number of different ways, and that we can manifest the reality we want based on what we do now. Now that is true. You know, to, to so a large degree that is true based on the law of attraction, which is more the law of intent. Uh, but I'll make another video about that. Anyway, I, so I tried to visualise time in a non-linear way. Like I said, humans experience time from past, present and future, right? We can't, you know, we can't experience something that's already happened. What we can do is we can relive a memory or we can imagine the future, but we can't experience these things in and of themselves, and we certainly can't experience them at the same time. So what non-linear time is, is the idea that time is not in one straight line, but is in fact a loop. And not only a loop, but also a loop in this direction and that direction, like a, like a sphere of time, instead of one line. Let me try and draw it, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be easier if I just draw this stuff. Alright, so most people will experience time like this. You'll see this is the timeline, this is the past here, and then the X in the middle is where we experience the, the present, and then this line here represents the future. So most people experience past, present, future, right? What I've done in a lucid dream is been able to not only experience but visualise how it would work, right? Where instead of, instead of having one timeline, a linear time, I've experienced what's known as non-linear time, which I don't know if you can see that, I can't really see what I'm focusing on. So it's, it looks like a circle, but then it's not just a circle, okay? It's also a circle going this way and this way. And so it looks like this, right? But so now imagine that instead of experiencing just one line of time, you're able to see and feel and experience and hear multiple different realities all happening at the same time all played over one another, not only in one direction. You can, by the way, you can probably tell how hard this is to explain, right? Because it's just something completely out of this world. It's, it's hard to put into English words. So in, the best way I have of describing it is imagine that you're watching television, right? Now, when you watch television, say if you're watching a film, you watch it from the start to the end, right? You're watching one screen and you're watching what happens in chronological order. So that's linear time. Non-linear time is like, imagine if you're watching not only one television screen and one film, but you're watching 10,000 different films all at the same time. And you can not only see each film happening at the same time and understand each thing happening at the same time, but you can also, they're also playing backwards and they're also playing sideways. And it's really hard to explain, but they're, they're playing in different directions. They're not just going from start to finish. They're also going from finish to start and each film is slightly different, they're all slightly different potential realities, okay? They're all sl different versions of the film that could happen, and you, I'm able to experience in a lucid dream all of them at the same time. Not just one film, but all of these 10,000 different films or more, you know, I don't know how many there are, I didn't count them. And so they're playing from start to finish, finish to start, some of them are playing from middle to end, from middle to start, some of them are playing like little clips, some of them are just jumping from scene to scene randomly. Um, and this is the idea behind non-linear time. It's the idea of being able to experience time and what we can perceive as time in a completely different way 
to linear time, which is what humans experience and pretty much what humans understand. Like, you, I don't really understand how nonlinear time works. I've just described what it looked like, you know, in a lucid dream, how it felt and what it appeared to me as. But I still don't understand it. The best. Uh, there's another sort of slightly similar depiction of nonlinear time, I guess, in the film Interstellar, uh, where near the end of the film, the main character is sort of in this matrix of different potential times, and it spreads out in every direction. And they're all sort of happening at the same time, but they're all, you know, some are playing backwards, some are playing forwards, some are slightly different versions of the same event. So that's nonlinear time. That is one of the things that I, I love doing that in a lucid dream, because just experiencing that is so mind-blowing that you wake up in the morning and suddenly, you know, your, your electricity bill or, you know, some negative comment on YouTube or some trivial problem is just meaningless because when you've experienced something that profound, you just, you, the, other, the other worries of the world tend to fade away. It's much like when, you, when I experienced my first skydive. You know, for a couple of weeks afterwards, I, w I couldn't be bothered by anything. You know, nothing seemed to affect me negatively. I was just happy and everything, all of the things that, you know, maybe would have stressed me out before tended to fade away. It's a similar thing with this, you know, once you've experienced something like that, it's hard to get angry at the postman for dropping your newspaper or, you know, the, the small things that people get stressed about in everyday life. It's hard to get stressed about those things when you've experienced non-linear time. Um, so that's the first one. The second one is sort of like an animal-based one. Nothing weird, don't worry. It's, what it is, is I've, in lucid dreams, I've been able to perceive the world through the eyes of insects. Like, for example, one time I became an ant and I was able to not only feel what it's like to have six limbs, I think they have, yeah, they have six limbs, um, and control each one of them independently of one another, but also how it feels to perceive the world as an ant. You know, I was able to see like pheromone trails as I was scurrying along the ground. I could see the pheromone trails, or sort of like a map, like a tube map, of how to get back to my colony. You know, the pheromone trails left by the sort of scout ants of where the latest food might be, and it's just so interesting. Like that's so different to what most people do in a lucid dream. But I love doing that sort of thing just because it pushes your imagination. It pushes your the level of inspiration that you have to a new level. So that's the second thing is becoming an ant and experiencing life through like an ant's eye or eyes. Now the third one, the third one, I'm actually gonna cut this quite short and give you a little challenge as well because the third one is something I don't want to share on camera. This is an experience that was so completely mind blowing. But again, it was only mind blowing because I asked my subconscious mind to make it mind blowing. So let me explain. I've spoken before about dream commands and how you can ask the dream to show you different things in a lucid dream, right? So I've, I've said that you can ask the dream to increase the clarity, turn up the brightness, or just show you something random, or show you what you fear most. So the third thing I did, or the third most exciting thing I did, is I asked the dream to show me something that would take my breath away. And what the dream showed me was just so completely beyond comprehension. I can't put it into words. And even if I could, I wouldn't want to share it because I don't want what I've experienced to influence what you're going to experience when you try this. Because like I said before, lucid dreaming is so very subjective, but it's also so fragile. Like if you read a post on Reddit that says every time you see a green door, you know, there'll be something scary behind it, that influences what you'll experience. And maybe if you wouldn't have experienced it before, after reading that, it changes your reality in a lucid dream and it changes what you experience. So I don't want to set any expectations. I don't want to give you any ideas as to what will happen when you do this. All I'm going to say is become lucid and ask your dream itself, ask the dream itself, shout out loud saying something like, show me something that will take my breath away. Something to those, words to those effect, right? Some, show me something breathtaking or show me something incredible. I really mean it when you say the word incredible, something that you've never seen before. I guarantee you, you're going to love it. <laughs> So give that a try guys, leave a comment letting me know what you think about this. And for the, for the more experienced lucid dreamers, please actually do this. Like please try this as, a, as an experiment and see what happens. And I'd love to know what you think. I'd love to know how this, you know, how it works for you and what you experience. So leave a comment guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Done.